Hello guys, this is Ronaldo from Tuji Studio. Uh, in this tutorial, I want to explain a little bit about how to set the proper linear workflow in 3D Max 2013 or lower version and 3D Max 2014 above using Fury 2.4 and Fury 3. And I also will cover the setting for the JPEG TIFF PNG target output which is non-32 bits and also will cover the setting for EXR as the final output which is 32 bits and the last thing is the climb output okay I will start with the Studio Max 2012 here you can select rendering and select gamma and LUT here you can check the enable gamma and LUT correction and set the gamma to 2.2 and material and color checkbox you you can check all both option and the bitmap file I will get back to uh, this later on and on the furious setup on the color mapping you can use linear multiply and leave the dark multiplier, bright multiplier and gamma as it is and uncheck the, make sure you uncheck the sub pixel mapping and climb output on the mode you can select color mapping only ok I will get back to the gamma and LUT setup here if you want the final output as JPEG, PNG, Targa, TIFF which is not 32 bits you can use the input gamma 2.2 and the output gamma 2.2 and if you want to use EXR which is 32 bit image as the final output you have to change it to 1.0 and that's it this is how to set the max 2012 and Fury 2.4 which is Fury 3 uh, didn't have any differences with the Fury 2.4 okay, and I will go to max 2014 ok let's select the gamma and LUT and here you can see that there are no input and output gamma anymore you don't have to worry about this one because uh, 3D Max 2014 will automatically set the best option for you so if you save it as JPEG, Targa, PNG the 3D Max will set it to gamma output 2.2 uh, when you save it as EXR the 3D Max will use uh, gamma 1 and on the render setting you can still use the same setting with the Fury 2.4 here it's just select linear multiply dark multiply 1 bright multiply 1 gamma 2.2 uncheck the sub pixel mapping and the climb output still select the color mapping only mode okay and you also can use the none if you use linear multiply you can select none for both max 2012 and 2014 okay and that's it for the linear workflow it's very easy to set up it and now we'll show you about the climb output this is the file that I already prepared to do the climb output test here on the car mapping uh, I will show you what's the difference between when you check the climb output and uncheck the climb output uh, now I will do some tests with the uncheck climb output Okay, let's change the 
resolution force here to and let's and let's save this first on the render history and let's do the second render with clamp output checked okay finish let's save it also we'll back to the render test with without checking the clamp output okay here I will lower the exposure as you can see you still have the high dynamic range of the Sun you still can see the Sun nicely and when you use uh, and when you check the climb output what ha what will happen is you will not have the dynamic range of your sky anymore that's it for now and see you on the next tutorial